Hey, what's going on Capricorns? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your two-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, we're going to be using the Celtic Tarot. That being said, let's get it. So we have four Capricorns. What's going on for the Capricorns for the next two weeks? Oh, that was disastrous. Let's do that again. What's going on for the Capricorn universe? All right, Capricorns. So the first thing I can see is I, I see this connection that you have. You know, there's someone there's someone that you're dealing with, and I feel like on a stability level it works. You know, I feel like logically it makes sense. But I don't feel any love from it. You know, I'm not seeing any love here. I feel like this person is with you because it makes sense. Or this person wants to be with you because it makes sense. I feel like, I feel like you work well together. Is, is their thought process. They feel like you work well together. They feel like, you know, they're running this successful business is what I feel like. You know what I mean? Like. It's not because this is what they want. It's because it works. This is person is solely, you know, based on, you know, they solely base their decisions on, uh, on, on stability. You know, what they get from you works. And it's not, but it's not based on a love. There's no love here. And I feel like, I feel like this has you feeling defeated. You know, I, I feel like, you're not getting any love from this person. You're not feeling, you don't feel like you're maximizing yourself being with this person. You feel like it's almost like rinse and repeat. You know what I mean? You get up in the morning, you do the same thing. And the next day, it's the same thing and the same thing and the same thing. And yeah, it's stable, but there's no passion. There's no drive. There's no wake up tomorrow, make more make things better, it's just the same old, same old. And sometimes we get caught up in that shit because it's not bad, but it's not good. You know what I mean? Like, we get caught up in that situation where, you know, we, we get through tomorrow, and then we wake up and we get through the next day. But that that feeling has got you feeling defeated because you want more than that. This person doesn't. Now I feel like this urge is coming upon you more and more. You know what I mean? These feelings of, you know, f that self-imposed, you know, that are, that struggle within, um, you know, feeling like you're missing out on something, feeling like there's more, but it seems like a lot of work. I feel like you're stuck in that energy right now. I feel like, you want more, but walking away from this is a lot of work because what you have, um, you know, financially or stability-wise works. It may make sense that way, but it doesn't make sense for your soul. It doesn't make sense to for love, you know what I mean? 
I feel like you're craving something that you're not getting here. And as we move forward, it becomes more and more of a burden. But there is a part of you that, like I said, that that struggle, that inner struggle that you feel within you is your intuition telling you that the more you give to this, the more, you know, because I, I do feel like you're giving a lot to it. I feel like you're putting in all the effort. Now I feel like there is a part of you that feels like if you move on, what if you lose this? You know what I mean? Can you walk away from this? Can you do it by yourself? Can you, can you, you know, will you meet someone else? You know, all those feelings are circling around in your head. Like sometimes when we have something that, that works, it's hard to walk away from because we're afraid we're going to find things that don't work. You know, feeling like you can't do it on your own. But what I'm seeing here is you can. You absolutely can. You're more powerful than you give your, yourself credit for. And we can't, we can't allow ourselves to be in a situation like this and not get... If you're not getting everything you want from a situation, it doesn't matter how good one thing is, it's not enough. You know, you may be living, in, you know, in a nice house and you may have, you know, you're, you're afraid of walking away from that because if you, if you walk away from this person, you have to give that up. You know, or you could be driving a nice car or you could be living a lavish life where you can, you know, do what you want to do or you, you're getting there and you're afraid if you walk away from this, it's, it's, you're not going to have it with someone else. But you're giving them too much credit. You built this. The work that's being put in is your work. From what I can see here, this person is here because it's stable with you. But you're the stable one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes we give the other person too much credit. You know? This person is not giving you nearly as much as you're giving them. You're 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 causing this to be successful because you're the one that's working your ass off. You're the one giving to the situation. Sometimes we give our you know the person that we're with way too much credit. And I'm not saying this person's a bad person. They're just not the person that's going to love you to the end. They're not the person, and that's worth more than stability. But I, I, I feel like you're going to be successful no matter where you're at or who, you, who you're with because I feel like that's just you. But this is not the situation you need to nurture. They're not nurturing this. They're not giving you anything that you need. You know, the only thing they're putting in is stability. But I feel like, I mean, I feel like they, they're not walking away from this either because they want to be the best but in a very negative way, very narcissistic energy from them, that Aryan narcissistic energy. This is what's best for them now. And once it's not the best for them, they'll walk away and they'll take what you gave them. You know, they're not being honest with you because their honesty would drive you out, you know, would drive you out, would drive you away. They're, them being honest with you would put an end to this and they're not going to do that. Because you underestimate how much you're putting in. You know, you overestimate how much they're putting in. You're not seeing what's right in front of you. What's right in front of you is that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you're going to be successful. You're going to have the success because it's in you. They see that. That's why they're there. And they're going to keep taking until there's nothing left to take. And that's why you feel those sleepless nights. And that's why you feel defeated. Because you know, deep down, your intuition is telling you that you need to move on. They're not being honest with you. Your intuition is. It always is. And that causes that internal struggle. Sometimes when we're with someone and... You know, we start being successful. We give them too much credit. And it's not to say that a lot of times that person may contribute. But 
Not in this case. You know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not bad news. You've got to look at every bad news you get in life in perspective and realize that what I'm telling you is helping you move forward. Now, don't, don't let anybody tell you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I see. And it's up to you what you do with it. Now, if you know there's something missing, but it works. I, it, you can't be happy with but it works. You can't. You, you might be happy today, you might be happy more, you might be happy for a year, but in 10 years, and 20 years, and 30 years, you're not going to be happy with it. And once, once they get what they want, and once they get to the point where they're exposed for what they're not giving you, you know, that's when this person isn't going to be there for you, and there's going to be that tower moment. This is coming to an end whether you like it or not. This is what I see. But it's whether it's up to them or whether it's up to you that that's, that's what changes here. They can make that decision after taking everything you had. They enjoyed your success. Or you can end it by, by you making the decision to expect more from your person, to want more than just to wake up every day and be status quo. You know, you... You should be in a situation where you wake up every morning and you're just happy as shit to be alive. You know, and you're just looking forward to what today brings to you instead of just being happy with getting by. And I feel like with this person, you're just getting by. But you'd be more successful because when you're the one putting in all the work and there's someone else kind of feeding off that, you're doing all that effort but only getting half the reward because you're sharing that reward with someone else. It frustrates me. It frustrates me when, you know, and, and I feel like you do care about this person, but you don't get that back. You don't, you don't feel special to this person. You feel obligated by this person. And like I said, it's, I feel like you overestimate this person. I feel like you underestimate yourself and I feel like you overestimate them. You know, I want you to be the best you can be. And I know that's what everybody wants from themselves. But sometimes we don't see it as clearly as a third party. I mean, sometimes a third party doesn't see all the information. But what I'm seeing here is this person, you, that feeling of defeated, that anxiety at night, that's, you know, that internal struggle. It's because I feel like you know what I'm telling you is true. I feel like you feel it as well. But it's hard to accept You know, sometimes it's hard to accept that we, we deserve more. And sometimes it's hard to, ex you know, accept that we're more than we think we are sometimes. You know, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit. And I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit. I feel like there's so much more to you uh, yet to come. You have so much more to give. You have so much more to get. And you will, you know, having people like this in our lives is not productive for our future. You know, we need to find someone that we can build a future with, not someone that we can build a future for. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's what you're doing with this person. You're building something for them. And once they get everything they want, they're not going to be there anymore because that tower moment is coming whether whether or not it's it's by your hand or their hand. And by their hand, it could be a long wait. And, and, and I don't feel like you know, I don't feel like it, at the end of the day, I, I don't feel like you're going to get what you want from this at all. And I feel like it's just putting a burden on you and not, you know, it, it's going to cause, you know, remorse. It, it's going to cause regret. Because one day when you realize, you know, when this person exposes what they really want from you and what they're really not willing to give you, which is love, um... You know, it's going to leave you that much older that, you know, that's wasting all that time that you have. And time is precious. So it's, it's one of the most precious things in the world because we don't know how much we have. You know, it, it's like driving around in a car with a gas tank with no gauge. You know, we don't know how much time we have. So we, 
we need to enjoy we we need to enjoy the journey. We can't just accept, you know, what some people offer us, even if it seems like it works. Because it works isn't isn't it okay with me. I want you to be excited to wake up tomorrow. I want you to, you know, be pumped. I want you to feel loved. I feel like I got away from me this reading because it, it really bums me out um, when people don't see their true potential. And when some when people are happy with it works. I mean, it, it drives me crazy because I mean, one day you wake up and you, you say, you know, I missed out. I don't want that for anyone. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anyone. Um, you know, and I and I don't feel like this person genuinely. You know, this this is not working for them either. It it's there's two people that are going to be unhappy one day that deserve more than that. Now, with this person, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. There's no love. But I mean, it's free will. If you're happy with it, if this is what you want, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm just telling you what I see. It's up to you to do with that, with what you want. Be good. Take care. Stay safe. And, and, and don't ever underestimate yourself. Because there's so many people out there that will. Don't be one of those people. See you soon.